Hey guys, welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. I'm Matt. And I'm Tim. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. We have a really cool cultivar spotlight for you today. Today we're at St. John's in the Wilderness. You saw previous videos where we walk around this, this garden and cemetery with some amazing Japanese maples. Today we're here in the garden to talk to you about Acer palmatum hogyoku. And how could we not talk about this plant? This plant is in great fall color right now. Hogyoku is an excellent upright green Japanese maple that has a really nice picked up green color, goes to a darker emerald green during the summer, and then in the fall lights up with some really electric yellows and oranges. Now, Hogyoku isn't even at its peak color right now. This one can rival many sugar maples for those oranges. It's one of the most electric oranges in the fall garden and really why this tree is super popular. Hogyoku makes a great pairing with Osakazuki. The two trees look very similar throughout the seasons. Osakazuki go into that bold red where Hogyoku actually goes to that brilliant orange. This is an older cultivar from Japan that is still a classic today. The fall color stands out so well out there in the landscape and garden that this is constantly used as one of the best Japanese maples for fall color because it really lights up the garden and landscape. It's really cool that we can come here to Flat Rock, just 10 minutes from the nursery to St. John's in the Wilderness and see this older specimen out in the landscape and garden. Yeah, we love this one, obviously for the fall color, but it adds a lot to the garden. Hogyoku is exceptionally heat tolerant. This tree is going to work zones five through nine. You're definitely going to need shade in zone nine, but this one's one that is pretty high on the heat scale. You can put it in full sun up to zone eight B typically. That large Emoenum style leaf is exceptional for cold tolerance. It's an excellent tree for color and texture, and it pairs well with really anything because that fall color is going to look amazing. Anytime we get a chance to come show you these trees out in the landscape and garden so you can see what they can do in your garden, we try to get out there and show you. And when it's in great fall color, we have to. I mean, it, it, we see this, we had to pull over and say, all right, we're shooting a Hogoku video because that thing is on fire. So another great feature about Acer Palmatum Hogyoku is its growth rate. It's not uncommon for this tree to get to 20 feet in 20 years because it, it quite often grows over a foot of growth a year. So it's got a great growth rate and uh, really just makes a great specimen there in the landscape fairly early on in your garden. So Hogyoku is a tree that's sought out by maple collectors constantly. When we list it, it sells out really quickly on MrMaple.com. It's probably one of the main reasons is because this is listed by J.D. Veritrees as being part of his trifecta. And Matt mentioned Osakazuki, mm -hmm. which he pairs it with, but he often pairs Hogoku Osakazuki with one called Ichijioji, which goes often for us a very similar color to Hogoku right. rather than the pure yellow that Veritrees experienced in his garden. So one of my favorite pairings to go with Hogyoku and Osakazuki is Green Star. Now this is a red maple nursery's introduction that gets very specifically neon yellow. And I think that leaf is close enough to the Hogyoku and the Osakazuki that it makes a better piece of the trifecta for me. I agree. I think that's an excellent one to put out there with Acer Palmetto Osakazuki, Hogyoku, and Green Star. That sort of rounds out that trifecta with that pure yellow color mm. and really adds so much to that trifecta. It makes it the pure right. trifecta with each different color. You get the more pumpkin orange with Hogyoku, mm -hmm. the yellow with Green Star, and the orange red with Osakazuki. Now, because Hogyoku is more heat tolerant, this makes the perfect tree for many people in the deep south. You know, if you're in Atlanta, a sugar maple may not be right for you. It may not get to the same colors that a sugar maple would up north, but something like Hogyoku is gonna bring that high intensity of everything you love about northern sugar maples in a Japanese maple that can go, you know, even into zone nine in shade. And it can fit in a smaller area as well. I know we had a customer specifically mm -hmm. who said, I want that sugar maple color, but in a smaller right. space. And Hogoku definitely provides that. And I, I think you ride on with that color. I mean, and fitting in that smaller space, Hogoku is an excellent tree for the traditional landscape and garden, and especially the traditional Japanese garden. That Japanese garden is so focused on upright green Japanese maples that then give you an amazing fall color. Mm -hmm. And that is exactly what this does. So if you're looking for a traditional Japanese garden, Hogoku is a great plant to put out there. Hey guys, make sure to check out some of our other videos we did here in St. John's in the Wilderness. It's a beautiful place here in Flat Rock, North Carolina. 
It's very peaceful and serene. It's less than, you know, five minutes away from our nursery. You can get over here and really enjoy some gorgeous specimen Japanese maple. Take care. God bless and have a great day.